Are you wondering why your boss can't afford to give you a raise? The answer might surprise you. The first thing to bring up here is that you actually are not providing the financial output that you think or feel that you are. What do I mean by this? Well, perhaps you're not actually providing the financial output that you feel you are. So, oh, I feel like I'm providing this huge output. When it comes down to it, your company expects you to be performing above the level they're paying you for. The real thing to get across here is that you need to be getting credit for the things above the level that you are getting compensated for. If you can start to take credit for these things, even just keeping a spreadsheet and how many dollars you literally have either saved or made the company with your efforts above the current grade you're being compensated for should be a very easy way to show, hey, look what I'm doing here. And if you wanna keep me around, you should probably acknowledge this. That's a pretty simple way for you to enlighten your boss as to why you should be getting promoted or getting better compensation, whatever it is. And if you can't get this across your boss, of course, why do you, where is this money gonna come from? If you think you're performing above your level, how are you showing that? Are you getting any credit for it? Are there people taking credit for your work? I have a video on exactly that topic. So maybe you should start keeping track of what you're doing and start networking to try to make it broadcast to the larger organization. Has that worked for you in the past? You should drop me a comment because I think this is one of those things that people don't really acknowledge or isn't openly acknowledged in some of the previous workplaces that I've been around. So if you are making a larger impact and you are keeping track of it and they still don't acknowledge you, what should you do? My retort to that question would be how good is your professional social network? Are you asking your peers and mentors what they would do in a similar situation? Should you move roles move companies even, maybe start looking outside if you're not being compensated and you're not being appreciated for the excess over and above work output that you're putting out. So are you really providing the work output for the business, either financially in terms of business brought in, time saved, all those things wrapped up in there? Are you actually providing that to the business over and above what you're being compensated for? Because otherwise, why would you expect your boss can give you a raise. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Keeping track of all these over and above things that you do, as well as trying to see what sort of rubric you're being graded against when you are going for that promotion or raise and trying to make sure that your key performance indicators or KPIs, making sure that those things are better than your peers. So you need to be outperforming your peers if you wanna get the best raise, right? That should be a no brainer. But you need to be outperforming your peers and by paying attention to your emotions, as well as the emotions of your group through your emotional and social intelligence, it should be not that big a deal for you to position yourself to be the rock star in your group every time reviews come around. I trust you've been paying attention to this emotional intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay, click that link below and schedule a call with me today.